the supplementary motor area versus the premotor cortex. According to the optimal feedback control theory of voluntary motor action, a task must be selected to produce motor commands. Two areas that are associated with this task selection are the supplementary motor area, SMA, and the premotor cortex, PMC, both associated with different elements of motor planning. For example, the SMA is associated with the processing of motor imagery and is active during both bimanual motor tasks as well as sequential motor actions. The PMC is involved in sensory to motor associations, the observation of action which is facilitated by mirror neurons, and the selection of motor action. Now let's demonstrate the functions of the PMC. In this trial, the subject is doing a visually guided motor task. When a light bulb flashes above a key, he will move to play it. To separate motor planning from actual motor action, the subject must wait for a tone before moving. To the right, you can see the action potentials of a neuron in the PMC represented as spikes on the time scale. Even before the subject moves left, the neuron in the PMC starts to fire at a higher rate. This demonstrates the function of the PMC in motor planning and the initiation of motor action. If the light bulb directs the subject to the right, this same cell does not fire, indicating a coding of direction in the neurons of the PMC. If the subject is furthest to the right within the boundary, the PMC neuron coding for leftward direction begins to fire even before the visual stimulus is presented, as left is the only possible direction for future motor action. If the subject played a more complicated sequence, this would require the activation of neurons in the SMA. This is because the SMA is activated during memory-guided tasks, such as sequential movements. Note, in this memory-guided task, the PMC is not activated to the same extent as it would be in visually-guided tasks. In comparison to performing a sequential motor action, which will activate the SMA, the primary motor, and primary sensory cortex, mental rehearsal of this task will only activate the SMA. The SMA can be subdivided into the pre-SMA and the SMA proper. The SMA proper has projections to the primary motor cortex and spinal cord. In contrast, the pre-SMA is primarily connected with the prefrontal cortex. Interestingly, the neurons in the pre-SMA may be associated specifically with initiating actions based on self-generated time estimates. For example, Mina et al. train monkeys to estimate how long to hold down a key depending on the color of light displayed. For instance, a yellow light indicated the monkey should hold the key for two seconds. The result suggested that, one, neurons in the pre-SMA may structure and initiate future motor actions based on information on time duration, and two, different neurons in the pre-SMA may code for different time intervals. Therefore, the pre-SMA may be involved in the coordination of temporal processing, motor timing, and time perception, which is important in all motor action, but particularly important for playing piano, which requires a coordination of motor actions to a rhythm.